13219 Alvin. The current tenant, the situation with the current tenant, a little, little sticky, a little sticky. This is where the money is, though. Solving this problem is why you're able to buy the property for like 50, 60K less, okay? And it is Garfield Heights, so you do need to do uh, what's called a point of sale list when you sell or buy, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. This one that I got for you today, this could be a long-term rental for some of you. Could also be a flip. Not an extreme amount of work needs to be done. It's not like something that needs to be gutted or anything of that nature. What we have is a non-paying tenant. So this could be evict, moderate rental rent, evict, moderate rental flip. Ton of money here, okay? 13219 Alvin Ave, Garfield Heights, all right? So the price... $104,900, okay? But for a big old massive Garfield Heights house like this, if you're selling this vacant with a clear point of sale list uh, to owner-occupied folks, first-time home buyers, things of that nature, dude, we're looking probably 60K more than this, okay? 150, 160,000, easy, okay? Making this thing look good. Now, the other option right, would be to continue to run it as a Section 8 rental. Now, Section 8 market rent on this is 1395 The current tenant, the situation with the current tenant, a little, little sticky, a little sticky. This is where the money is, though. Solving this problem is why you're able to buy the property for like 50, 60K less, okay? The tenant, uh, they had Section 8, okay, and their portion of the rent was 802 the tenant has lost their Section 8 voucher. Sometimes that happens. So the tenant lost his Section 8 voucher. Tenant's only responsible for 802, but the tenant isn't paying their 802. So no money's coming in, right? So the landlord's like, dude, screw this. I had government guaranteed rent. I no longer do. <laughs> I just want to sell as is, okay? That's why they're discounting the price, right? So you could take the current tenant who once had Section 8, now no longer has Section 8, responsible for 802, not coming uh, into your pocket, though. He ain't paying anybody, so you just kick that son bitch out, okay? You kick out the tenant, right? Then if you want, you can keep the property, maybe burr it out, right? Do a refi and start collecting $13.95 a month from a tenant who still has Section 8 or you could sell it to owner occupies for, like I said, 150, 160 range. Now, the big ticket items already looking good, dude. The roof, the furnace, the hot water tank, the electric panels, all in good shape. None of that would need to be touched. You're just looking at minor cosmetic stuff, and it is Garfield Heights, so you do need to do uh, what's called a point of sale list when you sell or buy, right? So you could sell it as is, like the current seller is doing, and have the buyers assume it, which would be you guys. You guys need to assume this. And it's some ticky-tack stuff, right? Tyler's going to put the POS report up on the screen for you. And you see a lot of ticky-tack stuff, right? You got to do some painting, painting on the window sills. They want you to tuck point the steps. They want you to do like a seal coat on the asphalt driveway. A few grand here or there, right? Minor moderate stuff, right? This is all stuff you'd want to take care of so you could sell to an owner-occupied buyer for a premium because owner-occupied buyers that are going to pay that 150 160 they ain't coming in here with cash, y'all. They're usually buying it with like an FHA loan, 3.5% down. You know, you got to assume, you the investor got to assume like, you know, five to $8,000, maybe ten. Uh, of like point of sale violations, right? That's fine for you guys, but like a first time home buyer, they don't have their down payment plus like $10,000 in the wherewithal to do these, right? So that's how you make the money, right? You make the money here because you got some city violations and then more importantly, you got a tired landlord who doesn't want to deal with the tenant who ain't paying rent after they lost their voucher, right? To make an offer on this bad boy, send it to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. You want to pay cash? Great. You want to finance it so long as it ain't an owner-occupied FHA loan, that should be okay. Uh, send those. Send me an email with those uh, 
with those credentials, right? So if you're cash, I want to see your proof of funds. I want to see your bank statement. If you're financed, I want to see your pre-approval letter. If you need investor financing, I have that for you. Just let me know. I've been in this game a very, very long time. I will hook you guys up with that. If you're trying to do a showing, that ain't going to fucking happen. We got an unruly former Section 8 tenant who's a, you know, knows the new owner is going to come in and evict him. So don't think he's just going to be like, yeah, come on into my house so it can make it easier for you to evict my fucking ass. Now, that's not how things work in the real world, right? So if you're looking at this like, oh, man, it's a great opportunity. I could buy and evict this guy and make like 50K. Yeah, I just got to tour it. He's going to have no problem with me coming in and doing that. He's going to love me, right? You got to use your fucking noodle, okay? He's not going to be wanting you motherfuckers in there, right? So fucking smarten up, motherfuckers. Uh, anywho, uh, outside of that, um, this is what we got for you, right? If you want to make the money, you got to take on the risk. You got to deal with the problems, right? That's how we make a lot of money in real estate, okay? We solve problems. Right now, we got a seller who's got a problem. They want to get rid of that. If you want to solve it, you can make a whole bunch of money. Sales at HoltonWeiss.com. Let's go. Uh, 13219 Alvin. Okay. So they work like three dollars, so why not get that bedroom? But it's not a group of good friends in the house. It's whatever. You get a garage door? Yeah. If it's open, we'll go in, but if it's not, I guess a fuck. Uh, I got it. Someone was asleep and I didn't want to be in. Okay. You're good. I'm keeping you out of it. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Which, um, which room do you
took a look if you're ready. You want to go down and make it? Yeah, yeah, do the basement first. Just be careful. You're good. I just need like the hot water tank yeah, for this stuff. Yep. Oh, okay. Just kind of show that they're not in horrible shape or whatever. Cool. It's actually perfect. Yeah, it's all set up for me. Cool. Santa scared me. <laughs> I was like, where'd that little person come from? Where'd that kid come from? <laughs> yeah, watch your step on this step. Yeah. It's just a quick scan. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.